Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial where I show you how to download and install Microsoft Flight. Initially releasing onto Games for Windows Live as well as the Steam Store, Microsoft Flight was the semi spiritual successor to the Microsoft Flight Simulator series, but wasn't very well received. And within a year of its release in April 2012, Microsoft had canned the entire project, with the Steam Store being taken down and Games for Windows Live ultimately shutting down in 2018. It is, however, still possible to install Microsoft Flight, and this is what I'll be showing you today. In order to run Microsoft Flight, you're required to download three things. Games for Windows Live, Microsoft Flight itself, and the Flight Toolkit, which essentially breaks the Game for Windows Live requirements of Flight, and allows you to run it despite the fact that the GFWL servers have been offline for a good two years now. So what you need to do is highlight the link and paste it into your browser. So that's Games for Windows Live, that's Microsoft Flight, and this is Flight Toolkit. And once you've downloaded all three, drag them into a folder where you can easily access them all. Once you have downloaded all three files, the first thing you want to do is run the Games for Windows Live Marketplace setup and run that. It shouldn't be a very long download given that the servers have been long shut down and so once that is done you can click on close and go on to the next installer which is the longer named one for Microsoft Flight. Run that and it will open up the game for Windows Marketplace installer and give you the end user license agreement for the simulator itself. Click on accept after you've read through and select a place to install. I personally like putting it into a games folder for my C drive and likewise you can select a language to install and just like that, Microsoft Flight will now download the files off of the local Microsoft server and then install it onto your system. Because despite the fact that Games Windows Live is no longer functional, the Microsoft Flight files do still exist on the servers, which is also where we downloaded the files from, the go.microsoft.com file server website, which shows that despite the fact there is no more support for the simulator, it is still kind of live on within Microsoft itself. Anyhow, this will take a couple of moments to download and once it's installed we can then go on to talk it. And so with that installed you can now click on close and get ready to install the final part which is the talk it which you can extract into your folder. So I'll do that with 7-zip and run that. So as I mentioned a bit earlier, what Flight Toolkit does is it breaks the requirements of Games of Windows Live that Microsoft Flight has and allows it to run off the server and your local machine instead. But Games of Windows Live is required in the first place to install because Flight does still need a unlock code from games for windows which it can still get despite the fact servers are down so what you want to do is install the non games for windows live version and okay that and with that flight talk is now installed and you're ready to give the flight simulator a go so launch simulator as you would do normally and you start up with the Microsoft Flight's flash screen and just like that the simulator will now launch on your system and despite the fact it hasn't been available for at least two years you can now run the game as is. And likewise one of the benefits of using the Flight's toolkit is also that it allows you to unlock the extra content of the simulator so that you used to unlock either through playing the game or purchasing on the GFW Marketplace and now loads on as standards. As given that Flight is now considered abandoned where a lot of the contents that originally was available was essentially lost forever until the uh, toolkit unlocked it for you. So loading tonight for the first time, it'll take a few extra moments, but once it's all in, you'll be ready to go. And 
And so there you have it. You can now select any aircraft of your choice. In this case, we shall go for the Baron 58. And we shall spawn up at lane night. Runway 2-1, take off. And so, as mentioned, Microsoft Flight certainly wasn't the most popular sim simulator out there. But you still had a number of people that enjoyed it, for what it was. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. If we go and start up the engine, if I can remember how. Into the cockpits. Let's bring on the uh, power, shall we? There we go. Bit of a drag there from the right hand engine. Let's put some power in. And let's take off. And so, as I say, marks off lights. Now installed in your system without the need for games for Windows Live. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do leave a like if you did, do subscribe as well. And I hope to see you guys in the virtual sky soon. Take care, and goodbye.